In today's video, can we clean up the north of the Seleucids and push against them while defeating some of their full stacks that they are generating in the field? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Sarectum campaign as Epirus. Now, last time we took out Ellis for the final time. We pushed through the middle here to take out the Aetolians too, which was pretty darn good. And we were attacked by the goddamn Seleucids and the Maidi in the north. So, and we also took out Dentalate, I believe, as well. So, lots and lots of things happening last time, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it is time to attack the Maidi. It is time to push against the Seleucids, see what we can do there, see if we can get rid of the darn Seleucid menace over here in the north. They've got lots of troops on the way. And looking at it, though, there's not that many good troops. The carry and heavy infantry are very good. Uh, the Silesian pirates, that's cool to see. So these guys have come all the way from Silesia. But, yeah, not really that good a unit. And the rest of their army, the only thing we need to worry about, really, in these armies is their crisis speeders. Oh, my God, they've got elephants as well. Interesting. I wonder if we have elephants available in Epirus as mercenaries. Actually, we don't. Okay. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, that would be cool if we did. I don't think we ever will do. We've got no mercenaries available in Ambrakia at all. We've got a lot of money to spend this turn. Everyone has moved, but we have one little battle to do, and that is the battle for Megalopolopolopolis. So let's get into that now. We've got the general, which is a pretty big general. Uh, we've also got two generals in the other army. Wow, but the rest of that army is pretty much trash. Mainly cavalry. Not much infantry. So I'm thinking we can beat them just with our Thessalians. Maybe the backup of two or three of the Ambrachiotes while the rest of the units focus on the siege. They will be coming in from the back right corner. So let us remember that and let's get into the battle, guys. So here comes their other army. We can kind of see it now. So uh, we are going to engage them, of course, straight away. Let's get them. Prodromoy over here. We've got also Thurio Foray and Prodromoy here. Got two of the generals there as well. We've got our Phalangites running at the minute. So they're going to be a little bit tired, but it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go. I think we can engage them actually there, looking at it. Let's kill the general's bodyguard then. No problem. We'll actually catch these guys unaware. Very nice indeed. And we'll kill that general's bodyguard. There we go. He's got gold, triple gold experience, that general. Wow. That general needs to die. Kill him. Come on, kill him. He should be getting killed quite easily here. There we go. And what else do we have here that we can charge? Potentially the Prodromoi, but I... I don't think they will take they will take it uh, in the face. Yeah, no. It looks like we're not going to be able to engage them. What do we have here, then? Thurio, Foray, and Peltas. The Peltas should die relatively easily. Come on, Pyros. You are a beast of a man. Let's go. The Peltas... How did they not die? Like, they are... We're getting actually shredded by the Javelins here. Which is a little bit annoying. So let's come in here, and let's also get the General out that way. Uh, what else do we have going on? Just nothing over that side. That's fine. So here we go. It's time to engage. What is this? Prodromoy wanting to fight? Absolutely. Let's take that. And then let's come forward. There we go. Kill the Prodromoy. Kill the Prodromoy, guys. The, the, the Prodromoy, that would be nice. We're going to take a lot of losses on the, uh, the Thessalians here, but I don't think it's too bad. You guys... Engage them. You guys come forwards. Let's go. There we go. And we got. Oh, there we go. We got to turn around quickly. Turn around. Kill this Greek bodyguard. Again, three gold stars. Three gold chevrons. It's pretty darn good. What are you guys doing? Just stop, stop standing there, man. Kill. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. Again, the Greek peltas are a bit of a mess. I'm sure we were. Did we run away from them? I'm sure. How are they not broken yet? That's the weird thing. They're coming after this fight over here. Only four men left in the Greek general's bodyguard. You guys go after them. You guys go after them. There we go. Now let's get out and we'll charge that Peltast. So, yeah, the cavalry pretty much doing all the heavy lifting and doing a lot of it right now. You guys, I want you to fight the Peltast. You guys fight them. And what else do we have here? Let's get out then. Let's get away from them. 
Right, let's get around this way. Looks like they're going for the charge, so that'll be fantastic. You guys now, phalanx mode down, and let's go. Go, 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 go. What do we have? We've got Peltas left, and that's it. Now, let's check over here. Let's also make sure we are doing the right thing this way. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pop here with those units. Is there anywhere else we can go around? Pretty much, we're just going to have to go through that way. That's fine. Let's get the Athamanians in here then, and the archers. That's no problem. No one there to challenge us right now. You guys take that. Here we go. Now, let's kill those Thurio Foroi. And, uh, yeah, let's go after them as well. Very nice. Should be nice and quick. Let's go kill them. Wow, that was a charge and a half, guys. That was a charge and a half. Would be nice if we could get through that gate. So, I'm going to get these guys to run up that way. And which cavalry have we got? Yes, yeah, so they've taken an absolute battering here against Megalopolis. Wow. I was not quite expecting it to be this brutal, to be fair. Um, but it turns out it was. So, yeah, especially like Greek Peltas and stuff. Like, they're not exactly a good unit, are they? Uh, but, yeah, we've got these guys. Let's come up this way. There we go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Uh, and let's kill all of those. Where is the cavalry? Let's go after them. And these two units. Let's get you off phalanx mode and over this way ASAP. There we go. That's one of their units dying. Good. Cool. Right, how are we doing over here then? It's like someone did come. But uh, I missed that. Oh, looks like they might be coming. Good. Well, let's get there quickly. Uh, let's get you guys. You guys stay there, actually. And what we'll do is get these guys there. Two. What are we looking at here? Thurio 4. So we're just going to have to tank a few of the shots here. But that's fine. You guys can get behind as well. And you guys... There we go. Get your phalanx down and come slightly forward. There we go. If you get in a good position, that would be excellent. But here we go. Just got that unit. Where's the 29 men? Yeah, go over there. Go, go, go. Why are you going, man? Did I tell you to charge? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. We should be able to take this gate, no problem. And then we can maybe deal with these guys too. Looks like they've got Prodromoy in the action. These guys are here. Are you able to fire? It would be nice if you could. There we go. Fire into the Thurio Foroi now then. Very nice. Right. While these guys are open to running in, let's get in. Let's get in. Go, go, go. Now we get in. Now we get in. And then we're going to surround them on this backside here. Where's the cavalry? Where's the rest? Okay, God. Come on. Thought I told you to come across, but obviously not. So there we go. They're not going to be able to even get through that uh, wall now, which is fine. Right, you guys can now chase down them. And you guys can get all the way into the town square. Fantastic. Now we just need to wait so that we can surround them. Well, now all we've got to deal with is these guys. So we are going to give them a charge, a single charge to start with. The rest of our troops are pretty darn exhausted right now. But we are going to bring them through too and see whether they can get through in, in time. You guys run as well. They are exhausted, of course. But, uh, yeah, pretty brutal battle, all told, for the cavalry. But they have done literally all of the heavy lifting. Uh, like literally everything. But uh, they've done a fantastic job. Fortunately, they are very damaged now. And the only place we can retrain these guys is back in towards Larissa. So we will have to think of a way that we can get them there relatively quickly. But there we go. We've got them surrounded now. Which is pretty nice. So we'll drink, bring these guys out for a second. And then once we've got all our cavalry there, we'll do a big charge with the cavalry in a second. And you guys, now that you're here, you can try to block this way back onto the town square for the time being. In fact, go all the way there. That'd be excellent. So in the end, we didn't even need to break these guys. We just waited them out on the town square as usual. But a glorious victory nonetheless. We've still got a thousand men in this army. I think we can carry on with it for a little bit longer before it needs to retrain. But let's see what we need to do now. A glorious victory, my friends. And I think in Messene, let's enslave for now, that destroys Megalopolis. Let's have a look. What do we have here? We have Dorian. I don't think Dorian gives anything interesting. No, it's just Greek Peltas for us. So, yeah, nothing really that interesting for us there. 
Now, Sparta is uh, a good target next, but we are allied with them. So I think, I think it's time to fight the Antigonids here. And if that's the case, it may be worth going back for retraining. But I'm not 100% certain on that one. They've only got one temple. So let's go for the Temple of Aphrodite right now. Yeah, especially the, the Thessalian cavalry. Definitely worth getting those guys retrained, probably. Um, and yeah, a lot of these guys pretty darn damaged, aren't they? Um, yeah, they will need to go all the way back to sort of Pharsalos. Which is a bit of a nightmare right now. Like, if we had a clear route through this way, past Lamia, it would be fine. But we do not, unfortunately. Uh, we can't even get there. So we're going to go into there for now. Do we have anyone we can put in there as a garrison? I mean... Oh, nope. I didn't mean to do that. Can we leave one troop out? Yeah, we can. But I don't think that's going to provide much public order, really, is it? Let's have a look. Messene. Actually, fine. That's pretty darn good. I'm going to jump on the ships for now. If we need to move a few garrisons... Oh, I didn't realize we still had that here as well. If we need a few garrisons, we do have one of these guys that we can use. Uh, on top of that, we do have garrisons in Thermon. But god damn it. <laughs> We're getting blocked by Athens. <laughs> we should also be recruiting the Akontistai as garrisons more than anything. Um... Yeah. <laughs> are we still training in these areas? Yes, we are. We're synced as well, aren't we? Which is great. Good. Nicely synced. Nicely synced. Good. And are we training sort of garrison guys up here? We are. I also think we should probably get a couple of extra spies just to have a look around. Maybe, you know, see the Adrissians a bit clearer. Let's have a look at seeing whether we can get some more spies up this way. Yeah, we're going to have a load of spies next turn. That's fine. I might also get an uh, assassin or two. Just because it's funny. <laughs> I do like assassinating uh, people on this game. It's, it's always quite fun. So, uh, yeah, we'll get a couple of those. Thermon has now expanded. Well, until we uh, recruited those, so that's fine. Probably put you down to low for now just to keep you happy for the time being. And, yeah, we're... Good, I think we just need to do our building. So let's have a look at what we have. Corkira, 1% growth in Corkira, which is actually fantastic. So, hmm. Nothing really worth building there for now that's going to do much difference. So, yeah, let's leave that for now. Let's go for the uh, farms in Dodona so we can actually start growing. Same thing with Pharsalos as well. I don't think we need any... Uh, Sort of military building in there for a little while. So that's fine. Thessalonica is an incredibly rich city. 4,900 it's making right now. But it is on 11,134. So it's going to be growing relatively soon. So I reckon we just get an execution square in there to keep it happy for the time being. Lycnidos, let's go for the public baths. Oinidae is a little bit upset. So let's go for the public baths too. And then we have Tarona up here. Which doesn't have any good walls or anything. So, sorry, not walls, roads. I'm willing to put some roads in there for now. Marina is pretty useless. So is Imbros. What about Same over here? We get the sewers. Nice. Nysos. You can get the shrine to Dioscuri. Not really worth it. Cassandrea, probably Dioscuri too. It is not really worth it as well. Uh, anywhere else that's relatively angry? What about Ellis? Can we build anything in Ellis? We can. Let's go for the Shrine to Aphrodite then. Uh, and I think that's going to be everything for this turn, guys. Oh, look. Athens just randomly wandering through our land. Who would have guessed, guys? I've, I can't think, of, can't think of anything more out of character for Athens. <laughs> right. Let's end the turn, guys. Uh, we don't have that to do, do we? Nope. So fine. Let's end the turn. Okay, so the Boeotians have offered to become a protectorate. They are our enemies of the Antigonids, so this might catapult us to war with the Antigonids. But I'm willing to accept that for now. Oh, thanks. It'll give the... Uh, yeah, it didn't actually make us ally, uh, go to war with the Antigonids, Welcome. but it's a good excuse to go to war with them, isn't it? Pontic Pentapolis is offering an alliance. Absolutely, absolutely, I'm going to accept oh, that. 
Fantastic. Another candidate for adoption. He is 25. I think we'll accept because we do need more and more governors, all that sort of thing. Uh, now, where is he going to govern? I mean, I think we've got governors all along this coast here. What about Philippoi? That's a pretty rich... Why are these settlements still got their names up? Same with Stoby and Scoopy. That's weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, Bailazora does have a governor, doesn't it? So does Heracleia Linkestis. Let's just pop that on to see. Stoby got a governor. Um... I think Dion. Does Dion have a governor? Yes. There's some really rich settlements around here. Like, Ayana does have a governor, though. Uh, Argos Oresticon does. All of these up here are relatively rich. So, even Burger is making 2,000. So, Philip Bo Philippoi, though, I think that's the one. Let's uh, let's get this guy. He's in Finike. Let's go up to Philippoi, then. All the way, my friend. You can go pretty far now with our Royal Road. Very good. Tagia is pretty upset. Yep, that makes sense. And Delphoi is incredibly upset still. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep on trying to make them happy. <laughs> Whether we can or not, I, I, yeah, I don't know. But again, I don't really mind. I think it's fine. Um, anything of interest in here? No, just the fact that we are now allies with Pontic Pentapolis. Very good indeed. All our recruitment has been done. We've got a load of spies. So I will have to manage those in a second, guys. Uh, but anything very interesting in here. Leprion getting recruitment. That's good. They can actually get hoplites now. So let's go for recruitment level two. And yeah, I think that's everything relatively good there. Fantastic. Right. Let's have a look at what we're going to do with our troops. You want to get back to Ambarakia now. We've got this army here. Alexander's army. Very experienced. Very good army. And uh, where do we want to go with you, though? Do we want to go through here? Or onto the Peloponnese? Either way... Is fine. Um, I think we go for Orchomenos. Or do we go for Sikion? I think we go for Orchomenos. I think that's going to be the best option there. Uh, Athens is a pretty large city. It is a large city indeed. So, yeah, let's, uh, we'll, we'll say yes, but it won't declare war on them for now. Uh, but that's fine. You guys now get in there. We'll go and retrain as many of you as we can. So let's uh, group them all together. You guys go there. You guys into there and into there. That should be about right. Fantastic. We can't do anything with those guys. Go there and go into there. Fantastic. Not many of these can merge, unfortunately. Uh, but that's fine. So what are we missing there then? I think I think it wants to give us armor upgrades and stuff as well. So we'll try to do as much of that as possible. But the, the main thing is getting all of the troops retrained. And we're missing, we're missing doing that just a little bit. Hmm. What if I join there? 32 and 25. Not enough. Not enough. Oh, with the Thessalians in this army. We need to go to Larissa, don't we? So, god damn. God damn. We can't actually train here. We need to go to Pharsalos. So, let's go for that. That's okay, though, because then we can come south through this way. Uh, and maybe just ignore the Peloponnese for now. That would mean that we should probably go on the Peloponnese with Alexander. Alexander the Cruel. That seems like a rather mean uh, mean thing for him. Because he's not cruel. He's a, he's a glorious commander, my friends. A glorious commander. How are we doing in terms of another army? We're actually pretty darn close. We've probably got all the infantry we need. So let's keep on going with Thessalians over here. Let's go for some missile troops if we can. Let's get a Thuriophoroi there then. Let's retrain these boys. And uh, let's get another Thuriophoroi. Good. And then in Brachia, what do we want to train? Probably some Athamanians. We don't have access to them in a lot of places. So let's keep going with Umbrachiotes there. And then in Pella, let's go for some more Athamanians as well. This unit needs to get in here and... Uh, retrain fully too so we'll pop that to the back fantastic 
good. And the Seleucids have just chilled out. So I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. But uh, yeah, they're just they're just chilling out right now. So that's very strange. But uh, it's fine for us. Completely fine for us. Uh, now let's have a look at all our spies that we have got. Why are all these guys red? Because they've been idle. But they're actually in good places. So uh, Bacchus over here. Yeah, you're good. Coerilos. Uh, is that a good place? Not really. I think it's better to be up here. Yeah, get up there. Perdikas in Orkamenos. Yeah, we definitely want you there. We can see everything there. Uh, Abreas. Uh, you're staying in there. That's good. Uh, Thenodorus. So we want someone, like, about here to kind of see all the approaches. We've got Ademos, the assassin, over here as well. Let's see what we can do. 3% to kill them. Wait, where are you? 3%. I think sabotage. No, apparently you can't move there. Very weird. How about we practice on the Adrissian diplomat? Why, why can't you do that? Why, why can't you do that, bro? You okay? Right, we'll also get one of these guys up into sort of Byzantium as well. Um... But where was that assassin, and why could he not kill? That was weird. That was very weird. All right, we'll have to have a look for him. Uh, Ademos. Just get out. Now can you do it? Yes, confirm. There we go. And he did it. Good. That should uh, increase his uh, traits. There we go. He's a cutthroat. So now he's got level three traits. Good. That's nice. Uh, Ison over here. You're there. Well, what I want to do is someone... Like, around this way, just to sign of watch the uh, score Disky and the RDAI and see what's happening out this way. So that's Iseon. Memnon over this way. Where do we want you? We've got a lot of spies everywhere, kind of, now. Uh, I think one of you could go, if you go up, like, around this region, that would probably be the best. Maybe on top of a hill, because you've got a bit more better view. Arianos over this way, too. Do we want more on this side? Potentially. I mean, it's not that that important. Maybe we want you up north with the Trabali would be a good one. Like, maybe over there. So, stay there. And then we have this final guy, Zoilos, over here. Uh, go and kill some Maidy, I guess. Yeah, kill him. Confirm. And he misses a target. That's okay, though. That's okay. Uh, it's always fun to play around with those guys. We've got this siege to do here, haven't we? We've got you have moved. We've got you going back for retraining. So you need to move, though. So let's go straight for Scaptherona. Let's go for that. They might... Uh, the Maidy might take out Bessapara. Although that's not exactly the best of armies. Although we don't have much... In the way of defense there. Same thing here. Uh, they've got one ram. I mean, I feel like... Oh, yeah, they're, they're both cavalry. So they can't even siege it down. How long have we got on that? Three turns. And uh, those guys haven't even got a ram yet. So we've got plenty of time. We can see there's only three Seleucid armies on the way. Which is great for us. I'm kind of wanting to... If we take them up to here. To Lysimachia. Then the only people then... Bordering us at that point would be Athens and Pergamon rather than the Seleucids. So they should leave us alone at that point, which would be great. But let's go for the Siege of Tirada. We had a pretty awesome siege battle that we just did before. So let's see if we can do a good one as well. They got the Thorakitai, which isn't the best Thorakitai unit in the game, but it's okay. And we got Hoplites and some Crisis Speeders. So glorious, guys. Let's get in there. I Piscion the Ugly. What a beast. Let's go. So the Thorakitai have pretty much been killed by the walls, which is insanely funny. Uh, apparently we lost a load of men there on that charge, but uh, that's okay. We, uh, we've broken those guys, so hopefully the Crisis Speeders want to come to the walls. That'd be amazing. Uh, but yeah, if we can kill all those guys, that'd be excellent. I think that's them all dead, is it? One more? Yeah, one more guy. There we go. Let's go here then for now. And let's bring our guys through this way. That'd be amazing. We don't have any... We've got a Hippocontisti, actually. So we'll use them pretty well. 
two of these guys on this side, two of them on this side, and that is good. That is good for us. So let's see what we can do. If they're not going to come and meet us at the walls, then let's try and get at least two of these guys over this way to try and deal with them. Uh, and yeah, you guys, two of you, let's go. One of you can go here, and one of you can go here. And then these guys can go in behind you, and that'll be fantastic. And then the other two, which is you two, which we'll group separately. You guys come up this way, and that'll be awesome. So let's go. So what we're going to try and do is try and bait them off with our Hippocontistai. So we're going to come forward slightly and see whether we can bait these boys away from the town square with the Hippocontistai, which should be nice and easy. So get firing your javis, boys. Go up. There we go. Not, not many hits, really, is that? Not killed anyone yet. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, boys. Have we killed one yet? A single one, maybe? A single one? There we go. And these boys. Phalanx down. Phalanx down. Stay here, Hippocontistai. So you keep firing. Keep firing. Keep firing. So hopefully they will come after us. There we go. Got to kill one. No, got to kill one. No. Stay off the town square. Stay off the town square. There we go. See if we can get the Chalka Speeders over this way. There we go. Let's go. How much more ammo have we got? Let's get out of there. Go, guys. Go. Are they going to come? No. We've lost all of that good juice so far then. So let's come over this way. These guys, see if we can bait them this way instead. Ah, let's see how we can do this. So here we go. We've managed to get the Crisis Speeders off, which is fantastic because they, of course, are the scariest unit here. And they did an absolute job on our Ambrachios last time. So if we can get them, especially in that side. Oh, look, these guys are even marching forward slightly. That's lovely. I love to see that. So we're going to get these guys up here. One of you, let's go there. And the other one, let's get out here. Uh, I don't know what that was. I just selected both, I guess, by accident. <laughs> both the same one. So let's see if we can push them off the town square. That would be excellent. You guys got your phalanx down. Get your phalanx down. You're going to have to just stay there, guys. And then we'll attack them. And now we can get in behind these guys and get a sandwich off. Guys, keep firing. Don't worry about friendly fire. You're absolutely fine, guys. <laughs> Go. Look at that. Open. It's open. Go, go, go. Fire. 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 Look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Keep going. Let's use all that ammo. Nice. There we go. Now I want you guys to face them and attack. Attack, 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 guys. Phalanx down, please. Phalanx down, please. Phalanx down, please. <laughs> God damn it, man. Sometimes. Oh, my God. Why are you facing the wrong way? Why are you facing the fucking wrong way? You idiots. <laughs> this is not even, like, in the city either. This is, like, on, you know, an open plain. Uh, well, it's in the city, but do you, know, you know what I mean. It's, it's on an open bit, not in streets. You shouldn't be facing the complete wrong way, bro. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. That is brutal. I just, we just left and came back and they literally all have just died. <laughs> there we go. Kill them all. Right, Aphamanians, I want you to chase them down. And then all we've got to do is sandwich these Greek hoplites and we'll be good. Get those guys there. You guys, let's come here. Let's go and let's speed this up. Well, that was a rather nice little siege battle there. We only lost 69. Nice. And we killed 365. G glorious. G -g 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 glorious victory. I don't know what I'm doing, but glorious victory, my friends. There goes Terida. And let's also enslave this one too. Let's destroy that Seleucid recruitment. And what I'm genuinely considering doing is bringing our general back to Pella. Because if we get siege down here, 
Then by these guys, for example, we can probably defend this pretty darn easily, to be honest. Even if it's one of these armies with the elephants, I think we can still defend it relatively easily. So, yeah, that's good. And we have a large temple of Hera, which has lore, so I don't mind that for now. Ooh, what is the port going to do to trade here? 477, but I think... Let's go for the Temple of Dionysus first, and then we'll get a port later down the line. So that's those guys done. We can't attack there. Can't move them. And we are moving into the center too. We need we need another general. So we need someone to come of age. Anything like that. Let's go from the bottom this time, because we don't build down in these uh, areas quite uh, so much. So... Let's build that. Let's see what that'll do for Olympia. 470. Absolutely insane. That is good. Dimer, let's have a look. What are you? Um, do we have recruitment here? We do not. Would be quite a good place to recruit, but honestly, once we've taken the Peloponnese, like, why do we need recruitment hubs down here? It's not really useful to us, because then... I mean, unless we're going to go after Crete, which we might do, but... I'd prefer to go after Rome and do what Pyrrhus could not sustain. He did do, but he couldn't sustain it. <laughs> Abdera over this way. Ah, let's just get some roads in there. That'd be all right. Quite a lot of money, but it's okay. Philippoi, let's also get roads there because that's a relatively rich settlement up there. And then Iamforina over this way. Pretty useless, so let's ignore that. Uh, now, Pactos as well. Dioscuri, we don't need that at all. Uh, we could go for some more lore in, say, Damastion, and I think we will do. Let's get those walls, and that'll be it. That will be it. Fantastic, right? Let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see where we get to. So down here in the south, you can see the Antigonids going ham after Sparta. What I'm kind of hoping uh, to happen is that the Antigonids will take out the Spartan lands here. Maybe not the island. I don't mind about the island. Then we can just take it back. So we don't need to betray our own allies there. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so because of that, what I might in fact do is go after Stratos, Agrithea, and Lamia. That will just allow such better pathing through all of this area and allow us to get down south a lot quicker. Now, attacking the GCS, we are bordering them here as well. So we might have to put together that secondary, that fourthly, fourthly army relatively quick as well. We had more rioting in Delphoi. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rebel very soon. I, I don't see why it would not. Uh, but like I say, I, I don't really mind that. Bessapara is ready to upgrade, so we'll, we'll stick that in. It is under siege. We now have Helenos over here. Great name. Let's have a look at you. You're a very good manager, in fact. He's spiritless, so not going to be a good general. Uh, untruthful. He's dysfunctional. This man has times when his madness presents him from dealing with what's at hand at all. He's an unwilling humanist, unwilling linguist. But, okay, so he wants to be governing, but probably not the best city. Like Demale, for example, that would be a, probably a good spot for him to go and govern. So let's get him around there. Yeah, and if we can take out, you know, like, Bilis Nakea here too, and maybe clean up this region, we'll be a little bit richer. We'll have a good sounding poise, po po blah, 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 point, blah, 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 pointy post, posty point for going across. <laughs> so that'll be fine. We've also got, what else do we have down here? The Greeks, are now at war with quite a few different people. So Sparta has broken their alliance with us because they've allied the Maidy. Are they fucking dumb? Yes, they are. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's insanely dumb. I can't believe how dumb that is. That is insanely dumb. What absolute imbeciles. That is insane. Let's pop that into there. Scoopy as well. We are still building. And the same up here as well. That's great for us. What do they have in here? Just that shouldn't be many troops. So let's pop that one. Let's enslave as well. Let's destroy this. Maybe. What is Sparta thinking? That is insane. 
That is so stupid. <laughs> really, really incredibly, incredibly dumb. Like, the Maidy are not going to help them. Like, what are the Maidy going to do for them? But let's go attack them. Let's uh, probably auto-resolve that too. 30 men dying. That's not a problem at all. And let's come around and take out the Maidy once and for all. Absolute imbeciles. What idiots? Jeez. Well, how dumb can you get, bro? I don't care about transgressing against the Adrissians. They're going to attack us clearly uh, very soon. So we also need to make sure that our assassin is getting used. Uh, Pontic Pentapolis are our allies, so I'd prefer not to kill them. What about this guy? 3%. Any of these? 5%. What about him? Yeah, let's kill him. 25%. And he did it! Surely he's going to get some good traits now. <gasps> he's got a clueless pawn, which is great. He's got a networker, which is great. And he's a murderer now. Oh, very nice. And the Galatians can stop trying to uh, bribe Abdera because I'm not showing it, guys, but literally every single goddamn turn, they are trying to bribe Abdera, <laughs> which is just hilarious. <laughs> right, let's get the general there. Let's get... How many troops do we need? Is it all of those? So one... So we need seven. So that's five, six, seven. Yeah, plus the general, of course. So that's one troop too many, but we can use one as a garrison for now. Um, and if they siege us down, like I say, I think we can beat them. And I think it'll be a pretty darn decent little victory as well. Uh, and it'd be very nice to have a defensive siege. I don't think we've ever had... A, have we even... You know, I don't think we've ever had an actual defensive siege. You know, we've had defensive sieges where it's one troop versus like a hundred. Uh, well, not a hundred, but you, you know what I mean. But... Uh, yeah, we've not actually had a proper defensive siege for a long, long time. Some of these generals are now getting pretty darn old. 50. Going to be a, a while before they can, you know. Um, oh, God damn it, we can't retrain them all. Do we have a Thurio Foroi around? We will do. So let's screw off one of these Thurio Foroi and go for the Thessalians. But yeah, we're going to have to replace these generals at some point very soon. So, yeah, that's fine, though. These guys are now training. I think we've pretty much nearly got enough for another army, honestly, which is awesome. These guys, yeah, they've trained a Thurio 402, but I think we've filled this army anyway. This is a pretty good army, I've got to say. Very nice indeed. Just one Thurio 402, though, which is a little bit worrying. And, yeah, Sparta has become neutral now. So why don't we attack Sparta? I think that's the option. You know, betraying us to goddamn, you know, go with the Maidy is just so dumb. Let's auto-resolve that. Easy victory. And let's go straight down here and siege them down at Sparta itself. They've got a lot of troops in there. That's pretty much their whole army. How long will it... Nine turns. It's a little bit long, isn't it? But yeah, Alliance in Tatters with the Boeotians, I could not give two fucks, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's good. I think we'll then leave the GCS. We'll leave the GCS until we've cleaned out the Peloponnese. Let's leave the GCS for now. Basically because they're just acting as buffer states. I mean, these aren't buffer states. But what I want to do is basically take these out all simultaneously. So have like three armies here just taking them out. That'd be excellent. And we've got you there, and then we've got you moved up there as well. And is that everything, then? I think that's everything. Uh, now here comes all the goddamn troops. That's our spy. Where is our other assassino? Zoilos over here. Where is he going, though? 1% chance. Hmm. Let's pop around this way. Let's see if we can... Sabotage Sir Dicker. Success. Good. He didn't get any traits from that, though. That's unfortunate. He's got the talent for assassination, so he will be a better assassin than a sabotager, but that's okay. Let's now have a look at where we want to build. The top now doesn't have much to build, but let's keep on going with some of the development down here. Like a shipwright in Ellis is going to be very, very good. Let's also pop that in Messene, too. A shipwright will be excellent. I am Farina. Let's go for... I think we can keep on the Royal Road going through these areas too. 
Sophis, again, more Royal Road. Now, Pactos over here, not so useful. Uh, so we'll leave that 2,900 for next turn, but a glorious little turn. Let's end the turn again then, guys. Oh, no, we've got... Who are you? What are you doing there? Who are you? Well, you're going there. Where are you? Are you going down south? Got Athamanians there, too. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's end the turn anyway, guys. <laughs> no, of course not, you idiots. Well, maybe we should have listened to them, because now, apparently, they are going to siege us down. But um, we do have 24 Phalangites. I don't think that's enough to win. But it's not too bad, you know. Let's uh, let's fight this as a defensive battle, and it'll uh, we'll see whether we can win. But if we can't, we'll just siege him down with our army there. So we've got to kind of hope that we can shoot the ram, which I don't think we can actually shoot it over the walls. Oh no, we can a little bit. It's not doing. It's probably not going to burn it, but we've got to try at least, haven't we? So there they go. They're coming into the city now. So what I hope they'll do is they'll go up against the mercenary phalangites. And then we can stand behind them and attack them. So that's hope for that. Whether we can actually do that or not is a different question. I might even leave these archers here just for now. Just to see if they can fire at the enemy as they come along. Looks like they're going to go for a flank though. Which is a little bit annoying. But okay. Don't mind that. Um, hopefully we can deal with them pretty quickly here, but I, I doubt it, honestly. I do really doubt it. The Thracian archers are on the way. How is their melee? Yeah, 6 morale, 12 defense, 10 melee attack. Not ideal, is it, guys? <laughs> it's not awful, but it's not it's not ideal at all. And unfortunately, it looks like they are going to surround us here, which is really, really not ideal. So, there we go. Right, let's uh, go after these guys then. Let's also try and fire at the general who's going to charge us, maybe. Let's come this way. Oh, here we go. Here's the general, the Thracian royal bodyguard. If we can, uh, if we could kill him, I, we, there's not even... Like, we're surrounded here, which is not good. But we could get a good morale shock off. Yeah, fire the javelins at him, boys. The Prodromoi absolutely going in ham. Looks like they're actually going to fire. No, fire at the bloody royal general, you dickheads. <laughs> come on, man. Right, now fire at them. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. There we go. General's going. General is going. So let's charge the Thracian Peltas while we can. And while we're doing that, we'll uh, get our archers here to fire into the back of them. There we go. How are we looking? Shaken. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken. Not amazing, but shaken. There's a chance we can still win this, you know. If we kill that, well, shoot at that general for now. Shoot at him. See whether he'll die. No, he won't die. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's keep our archers here. And uh, let's see if we can bait these guys into uh, into running around the city for now. We've got to be wary, though, of course, because they're going to be on the town square. There's only 43 of those guys, though. So there we go. Make sure you are firing. And we'll come this way and try and beat these guys back off the town square. Actually, no, they're, not, they're, they're leaving the town square. They're not. They're not going to stay there. Let's charge them in the back. So let's charge them in the back while we're firing at them. That should be good. One of the Peltas has managed to get all the way through. I don't know how. But there. <gasps> broken. Broken. Let's go then. Let's go, guys. Kill them all. Kill them all. Now let's get back up that way. Go, go, go. Quick before the other Peltas arrive. And uh, yeah, we should be able to fire at these guys now. Let's go. Let's go. This could be it, guys. This could be it. Nice little cheeky victory if this is a victory. There we go. And we're probably going to break them just with our archers, honestly. But there they go for the Javi. Ah! Nice. I'm going to continue and see if we can, like, kill the whole army. That'd be great. You guys kill them. And, yeah, we'll chase after this unit. We might not get to them, but a glorious little defense there, guys. What a little victory that is. Fantastic. Bloody Thracians getting thrown back, you silly matey. Why did you decide that you would, you know, fight us in the end, you idiots? Ah, so the Seleucid rebels have popped up and died pretty much right away. We have all of these Seleucid armies here. 
So what do we do with our guy here? This is a question. I don't think this area, Abdera, actually borders them. And I don't think they'll be able to get round there anyway. But I was thinking about maybe just putting him in there just to, you know, defend. But I think the best thing to do is just to go here. And if they want to then siege us down, that'd be awesome. <gasps> 50% to kill Captain Hermias. Let's go. Ah, success again. This assassin is an absolute beast of a man. Scaptora, we had a bit of a uh, bit of writing. Yeah, that's makes sense. But now we won't. Bylazora. Have we got another guy? Yes, we do. So let's Can you get Why can't you go through I'm sure there's a route through the mountains here. Yeah, well, we'll just have to transgress. <laughs> uh, another agent. More agents found. The Antigonids in Delphoi. Another candidate for adoption. Let's take him. He's 28. Not completed. Ah, oh, that's fine. I don't mind. Tricker now can upgrade. Fantastic. Finally. Uh, Seleucid rebels have emerged and died on the same turn. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen them die on the exact same turn. How did they become a client state and then die? I, I don't understand. That's so weird. Um, who's at war? That's interesting. Roman Carthage again. Okay, that's good for us, I guess. Uh, Ptolemaeus the Wrathful. Zeno Ethica. The commander who reads the scroll will improve his influence because of his understanding of grammar and the use of language to motivate others. Cool. Let's have a look at that then. Zeno Ethica here. Zeno was a Greek thinker from Citium. Like the Cynics, Zeno recognized a single soul and simple good, which is the only goal to strive for. Happiness is a good flow of life, said Zeno, and this can only be achieved through the use of right reason coinciding with the universal reason logos, which governs everything. A bad feeling, pathos, is a disturbance of the mind repugnant to reason and against nature. This consistency of soul, out of which morally good actions spring, is virtue. True good can only consist in virtue. The commander who reads this scroll will improve uh, his influence because of his understanding of grammar and use of language to motivate others and also lowers the chance of accepting bribes. He's in Baroya as well, which is a great place to have that because, uh, you know, more influence in Baroya is good because Baroya is a very rich settlement. God damn Athens, you know. Athens can just literally just fuck off, honestly. <laughs> like, what are they doing, man? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> right. Let's take these guys. Um, oh, one of the Athamanians did not get... Ah, yeah, the Athamanians can't be retrained. <sighs> That's really goddamn annoying, honestly. Uh, well, I think we'll replace that Athamanian with two Thurio Foroi. So we'll take... We'll remove you and you. So we'll need three more units. In fact, we'll take a Thessalian. So we'll have five Thessalians in the army now. And yeah, these guys... You can go to Ambrakia for retraining. You can join the next army. And then let's just take some Thurio Foroi. And then one more Thurio Foroi, which was here. There we go. Let's uh, auto-sort them as well. Now, where do we want to go with you? That's the question. Obviously south, but where south? To go all the way round that way, we can go... I don't think we need to worry about the north. I think we're okay. I think we've got everything. And I mean, that's going to be famous last words if I say that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Everything's going terribly in the north, guys. It's awful. Worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> we, can't, we can't afford to do anything there. No, no. It's not going okay. <laughs> Right, let's uh, let's check we're doing everything with the training that we need to. Yeah, let's keep going. More Athamanians. For Nikkei, keep going with them. And I think we're pretty darn close to... In fact, don't retrain them because they can be... Oh, that general's died, it looks like, that was in Pharsalos. Or did we take him? No, he's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. So, yeah, we can retrain those boys, no problem. Ferai... In the north, we got another Thurio Foroi. I think let's go for another one. Larissa, let's keep going with the Thessalians. There we go. Pella got another Athamanian. Let's keep that up. And then, yeah, Fast Loss retraining, retraining, retraining. Good. That's everyone training. Good. And it didn't even cost that much money. We're staying here for now. You are going to do this as a draw out battle. 
looks like they won't take that as a draw out battle. That's fine. That's going to be an interesting siege. I'm going to wait on Sparta for a couple of turns to try and damage them a little bit at least because, you know, that's going to be a pretty darn brutal battle when we get to it. Uh, but now these guys have all trained, I think we should come through the middle. We should also bring you guys through this way too. Uh, just so we can put together another army. Because I think we've got enough. We just need some more Athamanians. And then we'll be good there. Can we get them from Finike? No. So I think what we'll do then is build that in Finike so we can actually bring them. Let's also have a look at what we want to build here in these recruitment hubs. Like Larissa, for example. We could go for the city barracks or the armor. I think the armor is the best option. Um, and then in Ferai, we are building that so we can get Athamanians there too. Good. Right, you're coming down that way. Thermon, we have a load of, like, garrison troops. So, I'd kind of want to, you know, um, override some of these. Remove some of these troops. Like, these garrisons are good. It's just a bit of a shame that we've got, like, a silver experience 304 there. So, instead of that, let's get an archer in Olympia. And let's bring you back to Thermon for retraining. Let's pop that in there. Uh, these guys, like, we don't need two of these guys, do we? Uh, but they can just be, you know, they can be a garrison troop again. That's not a problem. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. I know mercenaries are very expensive, but that's not a problem. And, yeah, I think we're in a pretty good position here. Anything of interest that we need to keep building? Pella would be a good one to keep on building at all times. The same thing with Thessalonica and uh, Amphipolis because they're very rich. So Pella, what shall we build? I think the temple... Now let's build the academy to make sure this general gets enough. Uh, gets some good traits. We're also not really building in Ambrakia right now. So... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe public baths to make it grow a bit quicker. That would be good. Korkira, anything worth building here? Just build that shrine to Dioscuri just for now. Antigonea, Chionia, let's build the stone walls. Uh, sorry, stone walls, the paved roads. Uh, Kikiros, how about the Agora? That's probably the best option there. And then Oricon, same thing. Let's build the Agora. Then I don't think we'll have anything left to build. Apart from in Lucas, we might as well build the roads here because it does actually have a land bridge. So that will make a difference and it does have land trade. So, yeah, that's probably the best thing we can do. Right then, didn't we have a battle to do? Did we have a battle to do? I mean, I could attack them, but they've got that secondary army right next to them. This looks like a bit of a shit muncher of an army. This one looks a lot better. So, yeah, we can't do that battle. We've got you moving down south. We've got you there. And we got you there. So, yeah. I'm hoping the Seleucids will attack. That would be a great battle to finish on, wouldn't it, my friends? Okay. Interesting. The second army does not look like it is going to be able to come in to this battle. Ah, this is the second army. So, we are going to have to retreat with that army. I thought that was going to be the siege battle. But, no. Apparently not. When that is a siege battle, though, that's going to be a very, very bloody battle. Have you seen how many troops there are there <laughs> around the city? God damn it. That is a lot of troops. Everything's going fine in the north, guys. <laughs> Another candidate for adoption. We're going to decline this for now. I want more kids to be born than just adopting so many people. Um, so, yeah. That's fine. Rioting in Besapara, which is a bit annoying, but okay. Just pop that to the back there. Good. And uh, faction announcements. Yeah, we did have some people uh, get born, though. That's good. Philip of Epirus gets a priest. And through Kiddides gets a mistress as well, which gets more cash somehow. What else was there? Diplomatically, what have we got going on? Uh, Seleucids and Antigonus have broken their alliance. That's one good thing for us. Very nice. Anything of interest here? Yes, Scoopy is definitely of interest. So let's start building this back up so we can get some Ronfle 4, right? Because if we are going to fight the Adrissians, I want to fight them on equal terms. Not with Greek units, basically, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Not with Greek units. Um, so yeah, we'll leave this here for now. Let's actually do this just to see 
what they have. Three generals, which are infantry generals, which is not good for us. They've got some homoyoi that are very strong. Two units. More, another general's bodyguard. A few units of homoyoi. Lots of uh, hoplites. A lot of slingers as well. Let's keep on building more siege equipment, I think. Build two more of those. Build some siege towers. And just keep on building more and more siege equipment. Where are you going? Are you joining there? Well, not anymore. That's fine. So, yeah, you can go down to Githion and we'll take out Sparta. Not quickly, but we'll take out those two regions relatively quickly anyway. You guys over this way. We do have two Athamanians already. You're going back to Ambrakia for retraining. So that's going to be four Athamanians after this turn, which is fine. So then we will have another army. We, do we have a general for it, though? That's the question. I don't think we'll have a general for it. So we're going to have to find one or hope someone comes of age, that sort of thing. You guys come down there. Yeah, we're definitely going to have enough for another army. And I think, honestly, they're going to have to go into the north. <laughs> so we have the Siege of Philippopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopop
There we go. Get there. You'll be able to fire down this road if they want to charge down here. Ooh, that pathing has broken that Light Lancer a little bit, unfortunately for them. But that's fine. I was hoping some of these guys would come through, but it looks like not, unfortunately. Well, I don't know what they're doing, but they seem to not want to fight me. <laughs> Which is just kind of funny, really. Um, yeah, I have no idea what they're doing here. Kind of want to just chill out for a second just to see if we can, uh, you know, bait them into attacking us. So you guys get there. You guys just, just get like that. There we go. That's better. Get like that rather than in such a long line. That definitely helps out. These guys should be able to fire now. So where are you, by the way? You're here. Oh, you can actually fire. Good. You're bringing the Thracian Light Lancers into the fight. You guys, General, get back. You bastard. I'll break your legs. You guys are in Phalanx already. You guys need to get in Phalanx too. Here come the Light Lancers. It should not be a problem to deal with. Same thing over here. Can we not fire at them? That would be excellent. You guys just march forward slightly. You guys get there. And it always a much more interesting siege, isn't it, guys? When, uh, you know, you have a... Uh, have a lot more troops to deal with. I feel like we could just deal with these guys with our cavalry, but again, the generals, that's going to be a little bit difficult. I've got to say, these Cretan archers have been invaluable as mercenaries. They've done so much damage to these guys, as you can see. And just, in general, great, great mercenaries to get a hold of, really. Here comes one of the general's bodyguards, though. Hopefully he does engage, rather than just standing there. There we go. He is engaging. Good. That's fantastic. And hopefully we kill them pretty quickly. We've got a triple line of phalangites here. So, yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Poor Thracian Light Lancers. Just absolutely screwed here now. Here they go. They're going for another charge. Already wavering. <laughs> Poor guys. Here comes another one. Let's see. Those guys. Yeah, those guys have killed everyone. These guys need to fire at the Thracian Royal Bodyguard if possible. Yeah, there's... What's that secondary? They're both Thracian Royal Bodyguards, aren't they? So, I don't know. We'll see. So, now we've pretty much killed all of the generals. So, I think we can just charge in with our cavalry now. I don't think we need to do much else. And let's just get everyone else in. Uh, and, yeah. Th th what is this? Hippocontisti? Yeah, just Hippocontisti. Not going to be a problem. Thracian Slingers, not going to be a problem. Everyone else is pretty much dead. There we go. We just charged in with the cavalry, lost hardly any men, but what a glorious little victory, especially against such a well-defended city. Very nice to see the Maidy should now be dead. So Philippopolis is now ours, so let's enslave the Maidy are now deaded. Very nice to see. We've got Pelion, which now grows. Didn't even remember we had that as a settlement. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, we've got these guys. They're all happy-ish. Nothing that's that damaged in here. Oh, let's have a look at what we do have as uh, AOR here. Because we've got yeah, Thracians and Macedonians uh, in the city. Oh, here we get uh, those DI. Yeah, DI Swordsman. Pretty darn powerful unit. Let's have a look at the secondary. We also have the... Bessian Swordsmen, which are also pretty much just a worse version of the DI Swordsmen. So, do we consider, because it is a minor city here, and Bessapara is going to upgrade sometime soon. So, I think we do go for recruitment in Philippopolis. That'd be good. And, yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be very good. Very, very good indeed. Now, do we have anything else we can do this turn? No, we've got the sieges going on. We've got this army getting done. So let's do our building, guys, and then let's uh, let's carry on. If you do enjoy this series, though, guys, a like would be massively, massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. Let's go for Ferai there, although we could build some more military buildings, but it's okay. Their Bipathia TD is, again, just ignored until we can get something better in there. Demetrius, let's go for a bit of extra building. Same with Dion, let's get the Agora Falana. Again, Agora 2. Iginion, let's go for the Agora. And Ayana, Agora. Lots of Agoras. Agoras for everybody. 
And then over here in Argos Aresticon, let's build that. Fantastic. Well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. If you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively, massively appreciated. And thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.